What is up guys and welcome back to the new game plus and welcome back to episode 3 of the drops I know it's been a while I'm finally bringing the series back for those of you that have seen my previous video Yes, I'm bringing it back after so long. So let's get on with the gaming news in the gaming news Let's talk about very important things coming up tomorrow around 12 Eastern time uh, Geoff Keighley in his uh, channel the um, the Game Awards, he's gonna be showing us the PS5 controller and maybe because he got a little teaser, he's gonna be showing the UI of the PlayStation 5. Hopefully, I hope they let him do that because we wanna see because we were teased when um, in the PlayStation event and we haven't heard anything else in a while, while, while. Moving on. Uh, for this one is about actually Microsoft is continuing the Xbox One X and the S1 One X Digital Edition ahead of series S launches. So it kind of makes sense that they just continue the, the manufacturing on those so they can focus more in the Series X and probably lock hard um, the Series X S the the cheaper version of all of it. So it's kind of makes sense for them to discontinue, to be honest with it, uh, to be honest with you guys, because they they should focus in their next generation console. So, we, um, by doing so, you know, all the materials, all the components are gonna be used towards next generation. Uh, I mean, the, the, um, it's about time. It's about time. I know some people probably will be upset. That they're stopping the production, however, but that doesn't mean that the games are gonna be stopping coming because Microsoft said that they're gonna continue to support the Xbox One X and the, uh, the other Xbox also for at least a year uh, during the release of the Xbox Series X. But it is what it is, but it's not that bad. If you want to read a complete um, document about this, the source is down below in the description. Uh, also, I'm gonna add every single link or everything I'm talking about down below in the description. So moving on, this one is about Microsoft to launch X Cloud streaming free with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate in September. This actually is, to be honest with you guys, is amazing. I've been using Game Pass Ultimate because I'm now I finally have a gaming PC, so I've been playing a lot of games on PC, and I'm mainly playing on the PlayStation 4. If you see all my videos on the PlayStation on my channel, you see that I'm uh, mainly playing on the PlayStation 4. Um, but this is amazing. Game Pass Ultimate for $14.99 a month. What do they give you? They give you uh, games with gold. They give you uh, free games every month. They also give you um, online play. So you could play online on the Xbox. And also they give you a Game Pass for console. Which they have a huge pool of games that you could play. Um, some of the games they take it out and they add, and they have a couple of new games for the rotation But any games that are made by Microsoft is they're always available to you with uh, Game Pass Also, part of Game Pass Ultimate, you have access to Game Pass Ultimate on PC So you get Game Pass on PC, so they also have rotations of games on PC And any first party games are also available to you to play on the desk and then best part now that they announced it themselves, they're gonna include S Cloud to the mix. Everything under one umbrella. $14.99 a month. That is huge saving. That is that's a major win for people right now that are coming from uh, that are using S Ball Game Pass Ultimate. It's amazing and it shows is a lot of a lot of a lot of value and especially customer friendly by including that on the same umbrella instead of charging extra for that. It's an amazing value for the price and I got nothing else to say but it's just amazing that they're not charging charging you anything else for that. Also, um, this is out of the gaming news but I thought it was gonna be, uh, I, thought, I thought it's important because it's about security. If you have an Android phone, um, right now there's a new Android malware called Black Cross so you gotta be really careful with it. Um, researchers say that the vast majority of Black Cross overlays are geared towards phishing, financial and social media communications app. However, there are 
also overlays including for fishing data from dating news shopping lifestyle and productivity apps so this malware basically what it do is that it will t take a hold of all of your financial information social media apps and so on so it will be like installing an overlay so everything that you're typing on it uh, on your screen it will be like captured by, by by the malware and then upload it to them so stealing your account information stealing your money so you gotta be really careful with that uh, the source for this uh, for this news is gonna be included also down below in the description is from the website called cd cdnet.com so this source is also gonna be included down, lo uh, down below in the description if you wanna keep reading more because this one actually is very 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 important and it's kind of disturbing because um, another thing that they said about this malware is is the way that people are getting it because it's being distributed uh, disguised as a fake Google update package offered on third party websites so that's why you gotta be careful what you download it from uh, third party websites and this thing is actually in infected over 337 apps so you gotta be really careful with, with, with this thing uh, the Trojan can also perform all the intrusive operations such as intercept SMS, perform SMS flood, spawn contests with predefined SMS, install a specific app, lock key tap. Basically, what you're tapping on the screen, it will, like I said before, it will record all the information you tap into the screen and it will be uploaded to them so they can get all your kind of information. You, you gotta be really careful with that. If you think you're infected with that, I recommend you to do like a factory reset on your phone. Or, or go to an S Pro, go install an antivirus on your phone or something because you gotta be careful with that. I wouldn't recommend you to download everything you see on third party website. Uh, if you're new and you started like using your phone uh, for games and started experimenting like rooting and stuff like that, I would recommend you to like to be stick with like uh, recommended sources. Um, People that have a reputation and credibility, like you could check those on like YouTube videos and uh, people on YouTube and social media. Uh, just stick with the Play, uh, Play Store instead of downloading uh, stuff for the party website because they put a lot of stuff on there and that's very dangerous for your phone because it could break your phone. And on top of that, um, in this case of this malware, it will steal all the information and you don't want that to happen. Apologize for the for the noise, kind of noisy at uh, the time that I'm recording it right now. Also, moving on, um, these are the games that are available right now with PlayStation Plus for free that you could pick up. We got Erica, we got Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, the uh, 20 Year Celebration, and we got the Garbage Can, Casino, uh, Slot Machine, or NBA 2K20. And if you like your money to be taken, and stolen just like this malware I just finished talking about uh, go ahead and start playing to NBA 2k20 and it's time spending your money with microtransaction <sighs> funny thing how they call it surprise mechanics also moving out moving on the free games for as uh, games we go are the following we have Dunk Lord which is sound like a basketball game it is a basketball game actually uh, Dunk Lord um, also, we have uh, Juju for the Expo 360, and we got WRC A Fiat War Rally for another racing car game. Uh, there used to be another game. It's it used to be um, Same Road the Second, but it's kind of late to the party because that game was the release window for you to take advantage of. All the way it was July 1st to July 15th, and at the time that I recorded this video, is already out of the list so once again guys everything you're gonna find down below in the description with all the sources or everything that I just finished talking about it and please remember to like comment and subscribe for more content like this and make sure and you have a question don't be afraid to leave a comment and once again thank you for joining me and joining us on episode 3 of the drop it's been a while since I record one of these videos so I hope you guys enjoy and once again thank you for watching and if you like the video please remember to subscribe it doesn't take anything it's just subscribe to my channel that's helped me continue growing and to create more content for for you guys to enjoy so thank you very much and have a good one